Hi, I'm Dave. This is the Cider Baby Pod. I'm speaking to Dave O'Hara from Call of the Wild Festival. Hello. Hey, Dave. How are we doing? Thanks for I'm, having me on, mate. I'm not so bad. You're not looking too stressed under recent conditions? <laughs> yeah. That's not what you said when the camera first turned on, oh, is I know, it? I know. <laughs> I was being kind. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's, been a, it's been a busy day. Yeah, Everything I can imagine. has sort of leapt out at us today, so... Right. So you're one of the founders, directors of Call of the Wild Festival. Yep. Yep. So when is the event due to take place? We will be going ahead on the starting on the 8th of July, right through until the 11th. Um, we've extended it to four days this year as a thank you just to everybody that rolled over tickets from 2020, then from September 2020 through to now. That's the whole reason for the four days, really. It's just Thank you very much. You know, we you've no idea how much we appreciate your support. And yeah. to be honest, at this point, how much we need it. Yeah, I mean, I have to admire your tenacity over wanting to put on the festival. You've at every given chance, you've pretty much gone for it. And uh, you know, we're here now. Never give up, man. There's, <laughs> there's a passion and a dream behind this. But you know, with initially the three of myself, Raz and Lee, and we've brought John in now the four of us all think the same way cool. and we're not going to give it up if, if we have to bend to the rules and do it in a covid safe environment then that's what we're going to do bojo has certainly put a spanner in the works with his little announcement yesterday yeah he's doing his best to throw us off isn't he <laughs> bless his little cottons so i think everybody who's going to be watching this are going to be asking is the event going to go ahead and how is it going to go ahead? At this point, we are. Um, there's, in our minds, there's absolutely no doubt about it. We're going ahead. Um, we've been reading up, today's been all about the government guidance and refreshing on the guidelines and the COVID because everyone that's followed what's gone on with Call of the Wild since COVID first hit and we had the delay May 2020 knows how diligent we are on what we need to do to try and make things work yeah and the research that we do with the, the contact that we keep with with the public with the people that have bought the tickets we keep them inv involved we keep them informed at every step of the way as best we possibly can um so today's been about the research reading through the guidance seeing what we have to do what we can do what we may not have to do and trying and just flicking through the plans that we've had drawn up over the year, you know, from A to bloody Z, <laughs> and pick a plan that suits for where we are right now. And then on Thursday, we've got a meeting with the safety advisory group. Right. All on Zoom because we can't get together still. Obviously, yeah. Um, so that's when we'll be talking to licensing, police, fire, uh, the local authorities, the showground crew, all, all that kind of stuff. And we'll go through what they need, what we've got. And between all of us, we'll come up with a plan. Yeah. I mean, you were fairly well prepared in September last year to put a so, uh, socially distant festival yep. together. So it must be really a repeat of. It is. Yeah, it's it's very similar. There's a few things that we can tweak um, to improve things. You know, it was, again, although we didn't have the event, we've learned from the planning process. Right. So there, there's other ways that we can go about things. You know, we've, we've changed the layout. We've brought the two stages together. We've actually had to put the camping to the other side of the, the stages this time it, compared to last year. Believe it or not, because the building that we had two stages in last year, I think is now a vaccination center. <laughs> okay, so, right. Yeah, they're gonna get, you know, those nurses are going to have some arms that are going to be vibrating a little bit from some feedback from kick drums all day. <laughs> um, I think the problem we've got, and sorry if this sounds a little disjointed, but I think the problem we've got is that there's so much information, but there's actually not an awful lot of detail in it. Right. So trying to pick the detail out of it and make sure we've got that right has been the key. Yeah. And that, that's been pretty tough. Okay, so that's you know, sounding all fairly um, positive for the future anyway. 
and um, basically we're waiting for the local authorities, which could be the yes or no by the end of the week. I don't see any reason for them to say no. Right, that's good. Okay. We, we, we've discussed that at length, obviously yesterday and today. Um, although yesterday was more about ranting about Boris. And <laughs> upset and fed up and all the rest of it. But I think, to be honest, they know us pretty well now. They know that we're diligent. They know that we, we do go the extra mile to make sure that things are right, that it's as safe as possible for everybody that's coming along, as well as us and our crew and all the mm. staff and everything else. So there is, there's an element of trust there already. You know, the showground gave us a 10-year contract. Really? That's quite a big site the, as well. On the Friday, or the, sorry, on the Saturday in year one. Really? Yeah. They offered yeah. us a five-year contract, and then by the end of the day, that had become 10. That is excellent. The at the showground. Yeah. Okay, so with all this in mind, will this affect the lineup at all? At this point, no, not as far as we're aware. Uh, the entire lineup is British based, all yep. UK based bands. Uh, obviously, Ricky Ricky Warwick's got to fly in. Yeah. But I believe that was already part of his plans anyway. Yeah. To fly in and go stay with family and do the quarantine thing. Um, so I guess it's on that side of it. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. That's, I think, is all we need to hear. Thank you, Dave, for your time. Hopefully we'll see you in the field or the showground in, a, what, three, four weeks' time? Yeah, but I'll be there no matter what. <laughs> you know, even if it's just me and a barbecue and a, an iPod or something. All right. You know, I'll, I'll be there. I'll bring Probably a side. Probably Brad and Lee joining our sorrows in a case, case of road crew. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for your time. You're more than welcome, Dave. Thank you. Goodbye.